This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Import. Okay, what do you think this program does? All right, guys, just keep in mind, once we type an answer here and hit run, it is locked in. You won't be able to change it, and it gets submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, it gets submitted to me. That being said, let's think about this carefully, right? Let's just walk through it line by line. See what we got. All right, so we have my neighborhood, pretty standard stuff there, and then it looks like we have dash painter. Hey, it's like a dasher, like like the like the reindeer, except it's dash. Yeah? No, no. All right, so what's this do? It extends the painter class. Okay, so that means it's built on top of painter. We've seen that a bunch. Everything the painter class can do, you know, move, uh, set paint, blah, 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 it can do. And then we have a constructor, right? That The constructor is the thing that is used to generate the, to initialize it. And once we instantiate the class, once we have an object, right, then we can run uh, these commands. But so to create a dash painter object, we need to do int x, we need to give it x, y direction and number of paint, and that's going to execute and set us up with our dash painter right here. And so it will have x, y direction and five paint. And then we also have access to move paint. Ooh, what's this? Move paint move string color. So we can move, <laughs> we can paint, and then we'll move again is what this will do. They instantiate it. Ooh, interesting. And then we create a list or an array. And in that array, we are giving it space for three items, three variables. At index zero, which is the first index, I know it's weird we start with zero, we say color, one is pink, two is orange. So there's three here, notice, there's actually three values, it's just we start numbering at zero. One, two, so that's fine, we have room for three. And then we move and paint color zero. So we move and paint, okay, well let's go over back to here. And what does move and paint do? We pass it a color. What color would be in zero at this point? Well, I think this is a pretty good hint. These are exact. So hopefully we'll paint coral. Oh, and then interesting. Then it looks like we're going to reassign index one to gold. And so then when we do this, is it going to get pink or get gold? Well, since code must run in order, right? This instruction is before this line. Therefore, once we get to here, Paint colors one is now going to be gold. So this will paint gold. Then we paint two, which would be orange. Oh, and then we reassign two to thistle. So then we paint two again, but now two is thistle. So I'm just going to do notes. Of course, students should write in sentences, but just kind of my, my thoughts. And make sure you do think about this, guys. If you're breezing through these to hammer out an answer, you're going to do poorly. Pausing and thinking about programming is actually... And understanding it in detail is harder than writing the code. And often more important, it is. All right. Okay. And again, guys, you want complete sentences and you want to do a lot better at me at explaining this. But that's the general idea. And if you don't understand this, go through it again. All right. Boop. But, uh... That's thistle? Huh. Cool. Um, word.